Hello and welcome to an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a yin and yang circle that looks like this. It's very simple. You only need a few things, the circle tool and the pathfinder. So without further ado, we shall begin. So on a new artboard, choose the ellipse tool and before you draw anything, make sure your circle, your colors are set to white, your fill color is set to white and stroke color to black respectively. And on your artboard, I'm just going to click on any empty space and I'm going to draw a circle that is 150 millimeters in width and height like this and go ahead and hit OK. So now I have a circle that looks like this. All right. I'm going to first, step one, we're going to first duplicate this circle by using copy, by copying this circle using Control c on Windows and going to edit on the top here and choose paste in front and yeah of course you don't see a difference because the new circle is actually stacked on top of the first circle so we can open our layers window and expand layer 1 and we can find that there are actually two ellipses in on this layer. Next, we're going to create a smaller circle that is half the height of this bigger circle. So again, I'm going to just click on the ellipse tool, click on any empty space, all right? And I'm going to create an ellipse that is 75 millimeters wide in width and height go ahead and hit OK and here we have a circle that is half the height of this bigger circle and what we're gonna do now we need to align this circle to the center and to the top of this bigger circle so we're gonna use the key object alignment I'm gonna select both these circles and I'm gonna click on the larger circle to align to a select key object you can notice that the selection lines actually thicker than normal so with this as the key object with the bigger circle as the key object I'm gonna align horizontal center and vertical align top like this alright and again I'm gonna select my ellipse too and I'm gonna to have to draw the smaller circle that is inside here so I'm going to just click on the empty space and I'm going to set this to 20 millimeters in width and height. Now again using the key object but this time as the middle circle, the middle circle as the key object, I'm going to align horizontal center and vertical center just like this. And now I'm going to select these two circles, I'm going to hold down the alt key and drag to duplicate a new a copy of both these two circles all right i just drag them and i held down my shift key to to make sure that the drag is aligned but of course if you are afraid that your alignment might be out go ahead and just group these two circles group these two circles and again make the larger circle as the key object align horizontal center and vertical bottom and don't forget to ungroup these two circles once you once you have done once you are done like this all right so now you have actually two big circles and two sets of medium size and small circles each so the next step is we are going to have to cut off one of the circle the bigger one of the bigger circles circle into half so we're going to use the rectangle tool and I'm just going to click on this empty space and I'm going to create a rectangle that is 75 millimeters which is half the width of the circle and the height don't matter actually but you can just type in a value that is larger than the circle so here I'm going to put 20, 200 millimeters and I'm going to hit OK so this rectangle over here and I'm going to again use the keys, key object alignment and this time I'm going to make the largest circle the key object I'm going to align horizontal right and vertical center like this. All right, now now we're going to now I'm going to use the pathfinder, go to the pathfinder and I'm going to hit on minus front. So when you use minus front, anything that is in front of the shape below will be removed. 
So you when you when using Pathfinder, you must always remember to have two shapes that are selected. Okay, you must have two shapes. If not, it will not work. So here I'm going to hit on minus front. I'm going to choose minus front, and here I have the half circle. All right. Now, if you look at the original picture, you can see that this part is actually connected, and this part is not connected. This is a hollow over here. So we're going to create these two things. First, we're going to join the top circle, this top circle, to this semicircle. So I'm going to just shift select and select these two things together. And in my pathfinder, I'm going to choose unite. All right, unite. Okay, make sure you don't select the small circle over there just now. Okay because you don't want to merge it into a single shape so right now you don't see the small circle because it's actually hidden behind this shape over here right and the next thing we're going to create this hollow over here so but first we're going to have to select this medium circle we're going to right click go to arrange and we're going to choose bring to front so that it, it stays on top of all the shapes and then I'm going to select this one this bigger shape and I'm going to choose minus front so that it creates a hollow there a hollow like this all right now for the final thing not not yet for the second final thing i'm going to have to review this smaller circle that is hidden behind this shape so i'm going to go right click arrange and i'm going to choose sand backward it should be around two times you need to do this two times until you completely review this smaller circle now for the final touch is to give it the colors so I'm going to select this shape and this smaller circle and I'm just going to simply change the fill color to black color and there you go your own yin and yang circle I hope you enjoy this tutorial I hope you learned something from this tutorial I'll see you in the next one see you bye